NVIDIA and Accenture announcing a new partnership today aiming to set the blueprint for how we begin integrating AI into the workplace. Our Deirdre Bosa has more in today's Tech Check. Deirdre, good morning. Hey, Sarah. Good morning. This isn't the first of its kind, but it's clear that Jensen Wong has his eye on where the puck is going. Now, in partnering with Accenture to encourage the adoption of AI tools, he is making sure that the billions and billions of dollars the mega caps are spending will translate into hard revenue for their customers, ideally justifying a cycle of spending from the hyperscalers and earnings from those customers that keeps NVIDIA and generative AI, one and of the same thing, at the center of enterprise. Now, under the partnership, Accenture will train some 30,000 employees on NVIDIA's AI tools and create a new NVIDIA business unit. Those consultants will then go to Accenture's customers across retail, healthcare, manufacturing, financial services, et cetera, et cetera, and will help them implement those tools and services into everyday operations. So instead of signing up for Copilot or Agent Force or hiring OpenAI to create custom GPTs, you get an army of consultants across the space backed by NVIDIA to bring them all together and speed up adoption in a more whole holistic way by creating agents, the new buzzword, and just as investors are increasingly looking for results. Now, Accenture and Google Cloud, by the way, they also have a partnership focused on AI adoption and cybersecurity. This push to move from AI proof of concept to production. It's also a good example of how generative AI can actually create new kinds of jobs. So far, we've seen generative AI replace lower level jobs, especially in tech and IT. But these 30,000 employees at Accenture, they're part of a team of more than 50,000 that are being retrained for an AI world. One of the startup darlings in this space, Scale AI, it has its own human army of more than 100,000 contractors that does something called data labeling AI, which essentially formats information for AI training. Something to keep in mind, though, there was a very similar partnership that NVIDIA announced with Infosys one year ago. That one was 50,000 employees to be trained on AI solutions. Now, even the wording of this partnership was nearly identical. It aimed to, quote, help enterprises worldwide drive productivity gains with Gen AI. One year on, investors are still looking for those gains, so it's an open question. Can Accenture do a better job of this proof of concept to production? Now, NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang and Accenture CEO Julie Sweet, they will both be on Closing Bell Overtime later today. That is an interview that you do not want to miss. Will be a good one, guys. That's, that's, that's going to be good. Meanwhile, while we're in the neighborhood, D, I wonder if you saw this upgrade of CRM out of Northland. It's a, fa a smaller firm, but they argue that CRM may have leapfrogged Microsoft as uh, AI has, <laughs> has evolved uh, to Agentic. Music to Mark Benioff's ears, right, at Dreamforce here in San Francisco a few weeks ago. He took some shots at Microsoft Copilot, saying that it hasn't lived up to expectations. Um, Agent Force is just getting off the ground, so maybe he is raising the stakes. But it does sort of connect to today's news. I thought to myself when I first heard about this partnership, are they displacing Copilot and Agent Force? But I think what this army of consultants is going to do is look at an organization and make that call or help them make that call. Where do you use Copilot? Where does Agent Force make sense? Or do you do it yourself? And that's kind of a dirty word to Mark Benioff as well. He talked a lot about DYI AI. He said, don't do that. But I think this partnership is going to help um, companies figure out if they should build internally or hire a CRM or a Microsoft mm. to do their AI.